squaring negative numbers on your calculator is something that seems to cause a lot of students errors and trouble in their computations. Let me show you what I see a lot of students doing. Say you want to square negative 5. On our calculator screen, this is what I see most of the time. Negative 5 squared. And if we hit enter on that, the calculator is going to correctly tell you that it is negative 25. Although we all know that if you take negative 5 times negative 5, which is negative 5 squared, it should come out to be positive 25. So what is your calculator doing wrong? Well, your calculator is actually not doing anything wrong. When it does this top line, negative 5 squared, your calculator sees negative 5 as a composite number, and it does it this way. It does negative 1 times 5 squared. So the 5 is getting squared, but the negative is not getting squared. And when we hit enter here, it's going to, of course, come out to be negative 25. So how do we correct this? when we want to square a negative number on the calculator and you don't want to have to type it times itself this way, the answer is that you use parentheses. If we type negative 5 in parentheses squared, now the calculator is going to interpret this correctly as taking negative 5 times negative 5, the product of two negative numbers, which will become positive. There you go. I hope that helps in squaring negative numbers and hopefully will lead to more correct solutions in your work.